in this we are going to learn how to create this salary sheet i have already made this table and i have given some basic formatting inside this terminology sheet i have given all the terminologies related to this salary sheet and also inside this calculation sheet i have already given all the formulas i will come to salary sheet i have filled the serial number and also i have given the employee name now inside this basic salary i am just going to give some salary let me just write here 50000 i will write here 35000 10000 15000 and 45000 and finally i will give here 32000 okay this is the basic salary and basic salary is nothing but when we join company and the amount which they tell that they are going to pay for us that is called as basic salary in that no amount of deduction or no amount of addition will be added that is just the salary they will tell when they hire us okay basically pf esi all these things will not be included in the basic salary it is the amount which they tell they are going to pay for us okay this is the basic salary which i will be getting and attendance let us consider march 2023 month and inside that we have 31 days now for this attendance let us consider march 2023 and in march we have 31 days and here let us just write out of 31 days i have worked for 22 days 23 days 24 days 12 days 15 days 11 days 18 days 25 days 21 days and 19 days okay these many days i have worked and this is my attendance out of 31 i have worked for 22 days now this salary is nothing but let me come here now it is based on our attendance how many days we have attended using this basic salary it is going to calculate this one and we will be getting our salary so i will come to calculation part so our salary is nothing but basic salary divided by total number of days in a month into our attendance we can also write one more formula basic salary into our attendance divided by number of days you can use any one of the formula and you can get the result first formula is whatever basic salary i am having i am dividing by total number of days it is going to give me one day of salary then i am just going to multiply with my attendance so i will come here equal to i will select this basic salary divided by 31 i am considering march month so total number of days in march is 31 into my attendance this basic salary divided by 31 it is going to give me one day salary let me enter this is one day salary and inside this double tick and here i just want to multiply with this attendance entered this will be the salary which i will be getting let me use fill handle to fill all the data this is the basic salary when we join company this will be the salary which they are going to offer but based on our attendance we are going to get this much salary now let's talk about da da stands for dearness allowance and it is nothing but it is the cost of living adjustment allowance that government will be providing both for current and retired employees nowadays everything is very expensive so what they will be doing some companies will be providing extra amount for us so that we can balance our financial conditions some companies will be providing this one i will come to salary sheet and for this one 
I will just write one if condition equal to if if my basic salary if it is less than let me consider if it is less than 10,000 only then I want to give this DA or else you can give any condition if you want to give greater than 50,000 only then you want to provide if it is greater than 15,000 you want to provide according to your need you can change the condition if it is less than 10,000 I just want to provide this one comma if it is less than 10,000 I will be giving 2,000 or else I will be giving 0 enter as it is greater than 10,000 I will be getting this data so only one salary is less than 10,000 so only for this I will be getting the amount I will use fill handle you can see only for this 9,000 I will be getting 2,000 as my DA and this HRA is nothing but it is house rent allowance some companies what they will be doing they will be providing house rent if company has provided you house they will be giving you house rent and also if you are working in any company in salary slip this column will be there house rent allowance and for that some amount will be added so again i will come here again i will be adding here if condition if now i am going to use greater condition if my salary is greater than 35,000, only then I will be providing this HRA. I will be giving 5,000 or else I will be giving 0. Enter. Now as it is greater than 35, company will be providing me 5,000 as my HRA. I will use fill handle to fill all the data. Now only this one and this one is greater than 35,000. Only for both. I will be getting 5000. Then next is conveyance reimbursement. Now it is nothing but if you are doing any work for the company and if you are traveling for that work, company will be giving you that amount. And also if you are doing recharge for your mobile or laptop using Wi Fi, whatever it is, company will be reimbursing that one. So that is called as conveyance amount. I will come here. I am just fixing the amount for everyone. I am just going to give here 1000. Okay, as of now, I am just considering internet reimbursement. According to traveling needs, company will be given different amount. I will use fill handle. For all, I am just fixing 1000 rupees every month. If you have done overtime work, you can give either in days and you can calculate the same way or you can give in hours. I will just write here. Let me write. I have worked for 40 hours. I have worked for 10 hours, 89 hours, 54 hours, 23 hours. Okay, these are the extra works I have done, and this is nothing but in hours. Let me write here 31, and here I will write 23. This is in hours. If you just want to display hours, select all the cells. Control 1, go to custom and inside this I will be removing, I will write hash, double quote, one space, I just want to display hours. Why I am using this custom formatting? Because when we write text and number, when combination of text and number is written, it is not going to calculate. So we are going to use custom number formatting and we are going to fill the data with this text. So once it is calculated, then Excel will be treating them as a number and we can perform any calculation. Now you can see after this 40, I got this text hours. Now overtime salary. Overtime salary is nothing but basic salary, what we are getting divided by Total number of days in a month divided by total number of working time in a day. Let us consider in a day we are working for 9 hours. So I will be dividing by 9. So for this month I will be getting first day salary of that many hours. Then I just have to multiply with overtime hours what I have worked. I will come is equal to basic salary. 
divided by total number of days is 31 divided by I am considering I have worked for 9 hours in a day. This is going to give me one day amount into I am just going to multiply with this overtime in hours. Enter and this will be my overtime salary. I will use fill handle to fill all the data. Now next we are going to work on gross salary. Gross salary is the amount received by an employee without any tax detection. Now we have PF. Now without doing any tax detection, company will be providing this gross salary. So this will be equal to, let me just come to calculation. I will remove this equal to calculation tab. And our gross salary is nothing but salary plus HRA plus TA plus conveyance amount plus overtime. All the things whichever is additional that we are just going to add. I will come equal to this is our salary plus BA is also included plus HRA if any house rent allowance then conveyance also included and also this overtime salary is included. Enter. This is my gross salary. I will use fill handle to fill all the data. Now we are going to see about ESI. ESI stands for Employees State Insurance and it is calculated on the gross salary paid to the employees. Now this is basically nothing but we are going to save some small amount from our salary so that if any emergency comes or if any health insurance comes then we can claim for this amount. So now I am just going to consider 0.75 percentage and what we will do we are just going to calculate our salary. Let me write here gross salary. We are just going to calculate our gross salary into 0.75 percentage. I will come here equal to gross salary into 0.75. Directly you can just write here percentage. Enter. This is the small amount we are just going to save. Then PF is nothing but from our gross salary 12% of amount will be detected. This amount is detected every month but it is not like we are not going to get in future. This is just like the contribution but at the end we are going to get our PF. Now we are going to calculate for 12 percentage. You can see the employee contributes 12 percent of his or her basic salary. Every month they are going to contribute this one. And now here I have written an example. If the basic salary is 15 percent, then 12 percent will be detected from the salary which will be 1800 will be detected. And basically this amount is the employee contribution. I will come here is equal to our gross salary into 12 percentage. Hit enter. Now this is the PF which they are going to cut from my salary. Now total in hand what I will be getting. Now this is the gross salary by adding all these things I have got. Salary, DA, HRA, conveyance and overtime salary. Adding all these things we got this gross salary. Now inside this gross salary no detection is done. PF is not done, ESI is not done, any detection is not done. So what we have done, we have ESI, this amount will be detected from salary and also PF will be detected from salary. So in hand salary what we will do, gross salary minus ESI minus PF. Hit enter. Now this is the final amount we are going to get as our salary. Now for everything you just have to select this one. Press control, select multiple data wherever we are having the salary, select this data. Press control and select this data. Left click, go to format cell, go to currency. I will just reduce this. OK. Now you can see this is our salary sheet. If you want, you can take the screenshot of this terminologies. And also if you want, you can take the screenshot of this 
calculation according to that we have calculated and we have displayed the salary i hope you enjoyed the video thank you for watching have a great day